Hello, welcome back to HLS Crypto. My name is Dan. A lot of you probably already know that. If you don't, welcome. I'm Dan. Uh, there's so much fear and panic right now, right? How many people are panicking? Um, but this is good. Like this is the way people see things. So you can be a, you can be very different in terms of your investment journey, and and there is no strict right or wrong way to do something. There is multiple ways to skin a proverbial cat. Don't go skin an actual cat. That's fucking horrendous. But when when crypto dips like this, you can see it as an opportunity. And that's how I prefer to see it as I see it as a genuine opportunity to be able to get in other projects at very, very low prices and, and also add to the bags of, pro, of, of products we've already got. So like, for instance, Trias and different things like that, which we'll go into in a minute. I like this. I think this is funny. Me buying another Bitcoin dip and it looks very disheveled. I sat in a park with his dog, right? And I'm sure a lot of people felt like that, particularly overnight. Some people panic. Panic is, is one of the worst things you can do at this stage. If you look here, I think this is probably going to be it'll resonate with a lot of people. Uh, Warren Buffett said, be, be fearful when others are greedy and be greedy when others are fearful. And I think that is very much uh, the way to kind of navigate cryptos, particularly. Well, you can probably do that with stocks as well, to be perfectly honest. As we know as well, gold is really pumping hard. Um, that tends to like not be a good thing in terms of fiat, but that's all right because uh, we're not asked about fiat right now. And yes, I do understand there is a problem, obviously, over in the Middle East, and there's different things happening across the world. Obviously, you know, my heart goes out to anyone affected by any kind of war or conflict. It's not good, right? So let's look at Bitcoin's price right now. So it's at 67,000. Now, back in like last like October or something, everyone would have been buzzing over that. They'd be like, wow, you know, this is, this is where we're going to be. You can see the main dip that happened there. And obviously, it's it's again coming along there. But if you look at the max chart, and this is the thing, when you're in real fear, zoom out, zoom out to your friend, right? If you'd have been buying Bitcoin there, you wouldn't give a shit about this dip. Do you know what I mean? If you're buying Bitcoin here, then you're a bit more concerned. But it, it's for me, I think Bitcoin's going to go up and up and up. And I think between 120, 150 K uh, at the bull run, if we look at this, you can see that the halvening is predicted to be in seven days time. So on April the 20th. Uh, six hours, sorry, six days and nine hours away. So there's a lot of things to be very, very uh, bullish over. Will the Harvin automatically pump the crypto um, space? Probably not. No, these things take time. Will this be the only dip you ever get between now and the end of the bull run? Absolutely not. There will be others. There'll be 20 and 30% corrections along the way that's going to shock a lot of people and shake a lot of people out. And that's that's why it's important to keep that right mindset, Okay. I think that's really important. Uh, if we look at other projects that we've been talking about, obviously Trias at the minute under $10 for me is an absolute steal. Again, you look at the 24-hour chart, it looks shit. But if you hit the max chart, and this is the thing, so we were talking about Trias, you know, when it was 2 and $3. Fantastic. Because even now, at this dip, it's still $9.75. This is a great opportunity to add more. Um, I've added more Trias because I still fully 100% believe in the project. I think it's going to do very good things across the world, particularly in the Asian region as well. Quant, Quant's a bit of a pain in the ass, isn't it? We all we all know this. There was the, obviously the main the main dip. We we saw that coming, and that's that's okay. We don't mind that so much. But Quant's one of the the tricky ones. But again, if you pull out, you know, you can see, you can see that it's still got so much, so many legs to go up. I think it's the easiest ten x in the space, particularly from one hundred and four dollars, one hundred percent, along with Trias. Hundred dollars is the minimum for me. I think like you're talking potentially a thousand, but multiple hundreds uh, per trias is what I think. Again, scarcity. Trias has only got ten million. Quant's only got fourteen and a half million. I think well, fourteen point six, uh, and and obviously they get burnt along the way as well. So I think there's something there. But if you look at that, you can see there's still so much potential to go up. I mean, its all time high was was it three hundred and sixty seven in pounds? Oh, it was in pounds, maybe. What is it in dollars? So its all-time high was $427 back on September the 11th. Casper, another one. We've had a big dip. The Casper community, by the way, is fantastic. Uh, we've had a big dip. Uh, 12 cent Casper. People were like screaming for that uh, before. But again, look at the max chart. Like, you know, we were talking about Casper back here and people thought that I was too late. But look at this. It's, it's, not, it's not too late. Solana, another one. Obviously, they've had network congestion. They've had issues. We, we we appreciate that. Still think 
four figure Solana is likely. Again, short term chart, no good. Long term chart, super bullish, right? And this is the thing: people don't tend to zoom out very often, and they and they get fearful. There's going to be there's going to be multiple FUD stories. There's going to be so many things that happen within the next what, 12 to maybe 14, 16 months. There's going to be so much. And a lot of it's going to be nonsense. So don't try and worry too much when you see crypto dropping. See it as an opportunity, in my opinion. ICP, another one. I'm very bullish on ICP. I think it'll still do really, really well. Again, we were talking about this at a couple of dollars. It's now at $13.61. Max chart on this one, though, is very different. So this looks awful, right? This does look awful, but there's a reason for this. And here, on like the macro level, it, it, it's actually a lot more bullish than what it looks. But we had, obviously, the Sam Bankman fried thing. We had the whole problem with that. Um, and that's one of the main reasons why it dropped the way it did. Obviously, arse ended the previous bull run as well. So, you know, there's reasons for that. And obviously, one of the, one of the main reasons for that is currently in prison. Real world assets. So I've been speaking about this for a while. I do like the idea of merging uh, real estate with the blockchain. I think there's a very, very big need for this and obviously we spoke about labs at length and labs was a load of shit unfortunately it caused a lot of problems however prop base now this is the 24 hour chart it still looks really really good it's max chart looks fantastic if you look here um back so this was three months ago we made this video here about it is prop base 100x real world asset crypto gem potentially so if we look at it um we were speaking about that three months ago so it was around about there uh, where you could have got in very, very cheaply. And now we're up here. Again, this is now, I think, sort of a dip. Um, I'm very interested in this project. I think it can do very, very well. Again, nothing is financial advice. Don't ever take anything that I say as financial advice because it isn't, right? Uh, Miria, another one. Having a bad 24 hours, as we know, but it's another one I'm super bullish on in terms of crypto gaming. And again, look at the max chart. Just zoom out, have a look. It makes a massive difference and it'll probably keep you sane when you're looking at your portfolio dropping 25, 30% here and there. It's not nice to see, right? We know this. Uh, this as well from Sensei, um, Sensei BR underscore BTC. It says, halving is coming in a week and then we'll have the biggest alt season ever. Patience. I agree. I don't agree. Well, I agree that, that the halving is definitely coming in the week and I agree that we're going to have the biggest alt season ever. I wouldn't say it's going to happen immediately. I think it's going to take a little bit of time. But when it does kick in, if you've never experienced a bull run before, prepare, like literally lock yourself in. But make sure as well that you are taking profits when when you feel necessary. If things are hitting the targets that you set and you're and you, then the targets you've set are what you want to do to change your life, then make sure you take them profits because you're going to be left with nothing if you wait to the top and it goes straight back down again. And yeah, it's gradual, but it can happen quite fast as well. And there is reasons why I would suggest to always be very careful with your profit-taking strategy the same way as you are with your DCA strategy coming in. We want to fill our bags as much as we can. But we want to obviously take the most profit from them bags as well without being too let down by the end of the bull run. Because that'll be a waste of your four years and no one wants that, right? Uh, here as well, just want to mention this, uh, Madison.ai. The pre-sale for this ends at 5 p.m. UTC. Um, currently it's 1518 UTC. So it's about 20 past three. I'm hoping this video will be out by four, in which case you will have an hour left to participate in the pre-sale private sale. However you want to describe it for Madison AI. So make sure if you do want to do that, you do it within the next hour, because after that, it's not going to be available to you and you'll have to buy it on the open market. So wherever you are in the world, whatever you're doing, have an amazing day, have an amazing evening. Don't panic too much. Stay strong. Stay stoic. Keep your mind on it. And uh, as always, I will see you as soon as I'm physically able. Take care. Goodbye.